Chris, what is really the main topic here, the second one that we're doing now? We've got this one. This is from Ojas. Thank you for the pronunciation note. I appreciate when y'all do that. Uh, hey, John and crew, the new trailer for CW's Gotham Knights dropped yesterday, and I have to say, it looks awful. Just awful. I mean, it just looks low quality and does not interest me at all. What are your thoughts on it, and how many seasons do you think it'll last? Thanks for all you do. All right, thanks a lot for sending that in. And yeah, listen, probably the best CW show of all time. Supernatural, of course, ended its like 15 year run a while ago. And the other, all the cast members are doing things. Jensen Ackles, he's now Soldier Boy. Uh, Jared Padlecki's Walker now. And Misha Collins now has a gig. He's going to be playing Harvey Dent in Gotham Knights. And so when they announced Gotham Knights, I was like, huh. Okay. I mean, I really like Misha. I love I, Misha. I, I like him a lot. So hearing this whole idea, it's like, huh, okay, but it's a it's a it, it, let me get this right. It's a Batman show without Batman. Which has been doing that, so well. That has not historically worked really well, but but okay, you got Misha in there and whatever. So then out of nowhere, I wasn't aware they were getting ready to drop the trailer for it. Yesterday, the first trailer for Gotham Knights Drop, the, the upcoming CW series. And I'll tell you what, it has been a long time since I've been this excited for a new show, particularly for a new show coming out on CW, to be honest with you. I th Are you kidding me? This looks like shit. This looks so bad. It is hard to put into words exactly how awful this looks. And I love so many of the people in it. I, I'm, I'm excited for Misha playing the role. But oh my God, I've heard, I've seen so many people online saying, this is basically River Riverdale crossed with a uh, Batwoman. And it's like, they even got their lead kid to look like the lead kid from Riverdale. Are you kidding? Come on. I can't be the only one who saw the beginning of this trailer and didn't think for a second that maybe they just went out and got the kid from Riverdale. But whatever. Oh, it's all the children of the supervillains, whatever. And they're all about 75 pounds. And oh, the police is all <laughs> scared of them. And it's like, what are you doing? This, listen. I have been a bit, I'm a big fan of the stuff the CW does with a lot of their superhero stuff. I mean, not as much today as I used to be, granted, but still, whenever they put out stuff, it's like, okay, it's there's even in the stuff that I don't like, there's stuff in there that it's like, okay, that's neat that they're doing that and whatever. But I've loved shows like Arrow, at least for a chunk of it, I did. I've loved shows like Flash and Black Lightning and, and whatever. But I I looked at this and it's almost like they got together in a writer's room. And a producer came in and said, I bet you can't come up with a show that is just like a parody of everything that sucks about CW. <laughs> Go. And then the writer said, accepted. And they jumped on it and created Gotham Knights. And listen, I, I'm making fun of CW. There's a lot of CW shows I like and appreciate. I do. But it, it's true. It feels this trailer felt like every bad stereotype of, a, of what a CW show is crammed into one disgusting package and i have no desire i'm sorry misha you're my boy i love you man but i have no desire to watch this is gonna be one of those situation guys where it's gonna be like harley quinn hopefully it's like harley quinn where it just looked bad to me and i was no plans to watch it it's gonna take a bunch of you guys to tell me you watched it and loved it for me to give it a shot because i see nothing of any redeeming value here. And again, I don't want to make it sound like I'm heaping hate on anybody who's involved in this. I'm just saying I looked at the trailer and I thought the trailer was awful. And, you know, for all the people who put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into it, I'm sorry, my job is just to call what I say, see, and this looks so bad. Anyway, Aaron, you had the privilege of, and the uh, honor. And the honor of, of watching this. And we have not talked about this. I, I have no idea what you thought about. So what did you think about the trailer for Gotham Knights? I concur with everything you said as far as every cliche trope of uh, not even just CW shows. Because I don't want to bag on CW shows. I've worked for the CW. It's a, it's a wonderful You're in Flash. I'm You're in the, the CW Flash. DC yes, shows. Absolutely. I have many friends that have worked on CW shows. And there's a reason why they are why they last as long as they do. Because they know exactly how to give the viewers what they want um, on most of their shows. And I, But I do agree. It almost feels like this was sort of put into a blender. And, you know, okay, we're going to have... And a lot of it is just that, just the cliche writing things of, you know, uh, of, of, oh, did you know that your father was Batman? And, and the, 
the pain teen angst look and the quippy one-liners back and forth, but not that clever. And if people are wondering why this has, uh, why this feels a little Batwoman-esque, well, it's because the three main writers, the creator of the show, and two of, I'm assuming the head writers, all wrote on Batwoman. So there's gonna, they all wrote together on Batwoman, and I believe most of them, uh, uh, I believe at least two of the three of them wrote on Gotham as well, uh, which Gotham was a wonderful show yeah. for, you know. It was hit and miss for me. Yeah. For, for a while. I feel like it kind of tapered off towards the end. So, um, so I, I, I don't know. I, I didn't love this trailer the first time I watched it. Then Chris watched it and I was watching over her shoulder and I watched it for a second time and it didn't bother me as much. And so what I think may happen is I think that this may be one of those shows that people really want to hate, really love to hate, but also kind of can't stop watching. And if you think back, I know this is not necessarily <laughs> the, the the audience for this show, but um, uh, Gossip Girl also, you know, which was a huge CW hit, one of their biggest hits ever historically. Is that where Blake Lively got her name? And yep. That is absolutely yeah. where Blake Lively got her start. And, uh, well, not her start. I think she did Sisterhood. Sister of the Traveling Pants was in there somewhere. But, you know, Gossip Girl was outright panned by every single critic. I mean, nobody liked this show. And whether it was because of the OMFG billboards of teenagers having orgasms on, you know, <laughs> as you're leave, as you're driving down Barham Boulevard, if, whether it was those billboards or if it was just the fact that something about this show resonated with people people of that age, you know, maybe this show is going to be one of those things that finds its, you know, it finds its niche and it finds its audience and it's going to have a life of its own. So I would not be, um, I, I would not be so presumptuous as to assume how many seasons it's going to last because I think this Well, not actually, without having seen a single episode. Right, but that was one yeah. of the, the one, that was part of the question was how long, do, you know, do you think, how many seasons do you think this will go? Honestly, this could be a show that comes and goes in a blink, but this could also be a show that sticks around for a very long time if it finds its audience. And having watched the, the trailer for a second time and not being as annoyed as I was the first time, being like, oh, it's kind of cute. I don't know. Maybe, maybe if there's nothing else on, because you know, there's only three networks. I mean, look, there's there has been several <laughs> things, including I already mentioned Harley Quinn, mm -hmm. that I hated the trailers for, mm -hmm. and then I ended up loving those. Those are, those are like some of the biggest pleasant surprise, and I hope that's what Gotham Knights become. Well, I, I will don't have say a lot I would, I'm right really now. intrigued about the girl who plays uh, the Joker's. Carrie? Oh, the, 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 the Joker's, Joker's daughter. Joker's daughter. daughter. Do yeah. yeah, she's yeah. the one that like I was like, oh, you're fun. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued. Really? Can we get her a better I, wig? I found nothing fun about her. I was like, I'm not an advocate for violence, but can a cop accidentally shoot her right now? <gasps> I mean, fictitious. It's a fictitious character. Take a breath. Um, so, I mean, I was just like, Kill I was Batman's annoyed by kid. all annoyed. of them. Yeah, they're, they're, I was annoyed by all of them. I, I like the term rat brat. Bat rat? Bat rat. Yeah. Bat, rat. <laughs> rat, rat, rat. We want to take a second to thank the sponsors of this video, me undies guys when you've got a job like mine where you're sitting down talking about movies or sitting down and watching a lot of movies you learn to appreciate a really good pair of underwear and this summer guys why suffer through junk swamp with that 20 pairs in a plastic bag junk that we normally buy for ourselves when you could be enjoying this summer wearing the most breathable softest most comfortable underwear out there me undies i've been wearing me undies for a little while now and i'm telling you i am never going back because let's face it, guys, summer is sweaty, but your butt doesn't have to be. With Me Undies light and breathable micro model fabric, you can stay comfy and cool all summer long. They have super fun seasonal prints and tons of styles to choose from in any size, from extra small to 4XL, so you can bring the beach to your butt without ever leaving your living room. Make it a soft summer with Me Undies. Me Undies has a great offer for my viewers and listeners. For any first time purchasers, you get 15% off. If you sign up for their free to join, membership, you can apply that 15% off to their already discounted membership prices. So to get 15% off your first order and 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash Campia. That's MeUndies.com slash Campia. Anyway, <laughs> what did you think about it, Chris? You know, I'm not super into it, but there's potential maybe here, right? 
Duella Dent is a really interesting character, and it seems like they're going that Teen Titans route of her wanting to maybe make up for the sins of her father or something like that. You've got the Stephanie Brown character in there, too, which I really, really enjoy her. She's a great member of the Bat Fam, um, and it's played by Anna Lore, who has done, you know, series regular roles on the CW. She was on Doom Patrol as Penny mm -hmm. Farthing. So, I mean, you've got some great, great actors in the mix here, too. I just, and I know, right, the comics are different from television and film. When you have so many characters that are part of the Bat family, that are the actual children of or adopted children of, right? Bruce Wayne. Why do we make Tucker? <laughs> For why is there a Tucker? What is the point of you? And I'm sure I'll find out on the show. And maybe that's our, our you know, our um, window character into this world of this version of Batman and his associates. But right now, I'm just saying to myself, OK, well, if there's not Bruce Wayne, then where is Dick Grayson? Then where is Jason Todd? Like, where's my Red Robin? And I understand we're getting another Robin in here. And I love that Frank Miller character, too. Right. I'm interested to see how that factors into a CW show. Um, yeah, because, you know, the, that run is heckin violent. So is that going to be a turn for the CW? And as far as our, you know, listeners uh, question about how long is the show going to run? I don't know. How long is the CW going to exist? Well, I mean, you know, they're trying to shop it off. Mm -hmm. Like Warner Brothers, they want to sell it. I think that's probably one of the big reasons why they called so many of the shows, because I think they're trying to make it as financially stable and good looking for potential suitors to come and buy oh, to which some people wrote into me today and say john how did with the axe of zaslov running around and how did this thing get made well remember this thing was greenlit long before you know uh, mm -hmm. the uh, the discovery group took over the show so it's it's made it's done you got to put it out so i don't know here's hoping though it'll be the next harley quinn for me a, a thing that looked awful to me and i end up loving we'll never know anyway guys question is for you what did you think about the trailer for Gotham Knights? Was it something that looked exciting to you? Does it look like it has potential? Does it look like it's absolutely terrible and garbage? Whatever you guys think, jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.